first heard about Christian meditation, I mentioned to a friend that I was attending a professional development on the topic of Christian meditation. And I was a little bit skeptical. And when I told my friend, her reaction was she was very shocked. And she said to me, oh, my gosh, you can't do that. Catholics don't meditate. I certainly had my doubts going into it appreciating how a class would all come to be still for 5, 10, 15 minutes at a time. I couldn't envision it because I didn't think it was possible. First impression was, oh, I don't know if this is going to work. Like, you know, the little kids are too little. They're never going to be quiet that long. And the big kids are, you know, once they get to grade 7 and 8, they're going to go, oh, this isn't, this isn't cool. I like that I can kind of just, like, stop whatever I'm doing and um, just like find my inner peace and like relax and just slow down everything so that I'm not always like rushed around and thinking about the next thing. But it just relaxes you and makes you calm and you just think about what's happening through the day. It helps you find your peace and reflect on the things that you've done wrong and the things that you can make yourself better. If you're like in school and you have a test coming up you can just forget about the stress and stuff about it. I just think about God and, you know, say the words Maranatha in my head and just try to forget everything. When you think of young people, often they'll say to their parents and others, I'm so bored, I'm so bored. And they're really described as a generation that's always on the move, always on the go. There's always something in their ears listening to music. That, that stillness, quiet is something to avoid at all costs. So to see them still and, and quiet and, and reflecting and meditating was... Uh, something very positive. So I asked them, is this something that's boring? And no, they said no because, and they acknowledged, because they are doing something. It's not that they're doing nothing at all. They're putting themselves in the presence of God. They're listening to their gentle shepherd. You know, even the times when I think of myself as waiting for somebody, you know, waiting five minutes is a torture. And yet if you're able to just do a little meditation for that five minutes, it puts you into a whole different realm. And, and uh, you know, I, I love the way they, they bring uh, God and listening to God into the, into the uh, quiet time that they have. The thing that I've learned the most from children through uh, Christian meditation is um, how much easier they find it to get into uh, modes of prayer. I was really amazed, um, young and old, uh, in terms of uh, elementary students, kindergarten students, grade 8 students, how they were able to um, find calm and to, um, and to speak meaningfully, actually, about their experiences. When we first heard about Christian meditation, we heard about it uh, at a, re a religious committee meeting. And I wasn't just too sure how it was going to work. I couldn't see a classroom of grade threes and four sitting quiet for that length of time. When I went today and saw them, I was absolutely amazed. When there's a lot of noise, it's hard to focus on things. And when we're all sitting down quietly, you can focus just on God. We don't really take too much time to spend time with Him. And it feels good to just take a minute or two to spend time with Him. They're here at school, and you know it's it's you know an integral part of their education, the religion. But they're a lot of kids kind of push it away. But this, they seem to be the kids seem really accepting of it. If you have a hard day, then you can just try it, and it'll calm you down. You're saying Maranatha, and that's um, a saying for Jesus come to me. The meditation helps students with their learning. So they are able to spend some time with Jesus, they calm, they de-stress, and it has actually helped them in terms of kind of clearing their minds and being able to engage in the lesson and um, be a little bit more kind of focused. You get to spend time with God um, by yourself and you just get to relax. You don't, you don't have to just do it at school, you can do it at home too. When at home I, have, I had a bad day with my sister and I meditate so I could let everything go and be happy. When my daughter first came home with it, she's in grade one, um, she was really excited about it. It was a, uh, something new uh, that she, she was interested in. 
<laughs> my oldest one um, gets stressed out very easily and she tries to take on the mother role and so she'll get arguing and everything and I said Caitlin it's time for quiet time and she'll go off to her room or um, into the hallway and she'll sit there and you can see her starting to calm down and doing her meditation. So we try to meditate as a family more and they teach me properly how to hold my hands. Like if the kids are quiet it means they're watching the TV or they're staring at the computer or their tablet or whatever. They're always engaged in something and it's just the disconnect from everything else and just having some quiet time where they're just doing the meditation. And sometimes she's told her mother and I that maybe we need to go especially me I guess go have a little meditation of my own which is good and I always tell her now if you think daddy's getting to that point tell daddy you need to go and do a little meditation and calm down dad so it you can let everything out with something blocking you and it just makes me feel free I just feel really relaxed and it just soothes me just to see them enter into this uh, form of prayer, it, it seems so natural for them and, and to, to be at peace and to really focus on um, praying to the Lord and being still in the Lord. It was just a very, very beautiful experience all around. Yeah, they're finding their peace in this crazy world that we're in right now. That you can just focus on yourself and you can get away from the troubles and hassles of the world. You spend time with God and you just keep your focus on Him. I hope that as the children feel more comfortable with silence, that they'll also see the role of silence in the liturgy and how it is being active, it is participating, but in a new and wonderful way. A beautiful imagery I've seen and I've heard is that, you know, there's a, a storm on the sea and the boat is being buffeted. But if you go down to the bottom of the sea, it's still and it's calm. And so what we need to do is help people to be able to go within and find the Lord who is deep within and be at peace. And that way there can be a storm going around them but they'll still be at peace, and it'll help them, I think, just deal with life in a way that is very Christ-like. I was uh, here at St. Mary's uh, School. I was very moved by meditating with the children, but also by seeing the, um, the sense of wonder among the teachers. I think one of the things that surprised me the most is how the kids crave it on a daily basis. So we build it into our schedule. Um, so when I do it, my agenda board in the morning, it's there. Um, but sometimes we get busy and the kids will stop and they will stop me and say, Hey miss, are we going to do our meditation today? What we've noticed in talking to teachers that have been participating in this practice is that they're noticing um, changes in uh, their class management or the, the tone of their classes. These periods of uh, reflection are resulting in um, a better classroom management classes that are more controlled, they're, they're, they're quieter, they're um, perhaps more reflective. If I do something wrong, so at, right at first I'm like, oh, I'm, I didn't do anything wrong, but then later on I'll think about it and I'll kind of come to my senses and apologize. Sister uh, Ilya Delia in her book, Christ and Evolution, uh, writes that contemplation is the vision of a heart-centered God by which one sees the depths of things in their true reality. That's what I believe Catholic education offers to our students. It offers them a new way of seeing, a way of seeing from the heart where the presence of God exists. To learn anything, you have to have the spirit of joy. And that's what I, I could see here. What they said to me is that the meditation in the school makes it a more joyful place. I was very impressed with what I have seen. I, I can see it as something that will only enhance the spirituality of our students, but also our staff, and how it then can spread to the family. You know, to me, meditation is simply just resting in the arms of our loving Savior. And I think that image of Jesus hugging the children, meditation provides that a time for them to be hugged and one with their God. <laughs>
Do you know how to meditate? If you don't, I'll teach you how to meditate.